without further ado, man, let's get straight to it, man. For Today, sure, for sure, for sure. back on the platform, man. Making hella moves, man. Making hella motion, man. Got your name ringing from the last time that we uh sat down, man. I I can honestly say I'm proud of you, bro. You appreciate know what it. I mean? Appreciate um, it. I've been seeing you in the studio. Um, you done drop visuals. Yeah. You know, at one point in time, that was a part of our conversation was the fact that you ain't had no visuals. For sure. And uh, shit, you done came <laughs> visuals, bro. You know what I mean? And you blessed the stage last night. You feel me? Uh, Money bag, yo, hit the stage. Mm. JT hit the stage. Uh, Skiller, everybody hit the stage. Yeah. You had the opportunity to to bless that stage, man. We got Tay Prince in the building. What's going on, my brother? How you feeling? What's the word? What's the word? I'm feeling blessed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's just start there. You feel me? Um, uh, man, just talk about that experience and that feeling. Uh, you know, being on that stage, uh, packed out. Of you know what I mean? In front of a bunch of people. Um, talk about it. Um, For real, I'm going to be completely honest. I thought I was going to be scared till I really just sat down and been like, bruh, I'm not finna be no bum in life. I'm not finna make a, a joke out of myself on this stage. None of that. So I was like, I had to check all of that at the door. Like, <laughs> I'm about to go show out. Like, my mama in the front row. Like, I'm not finna embarrass myself in front of my whole family. Like, God. that's crazy. And then, like, I knew that, like, if I really, like, put myself through this, my life could change. Like, my manager, he was, he did his Joe Jackson. He was on me. Like, man, but I could say as soon as that mic went in my hand and I walked on the stage, I thought it was going to be, like, overwhelming. But when I got on there, it was like I was at home for For sure. For sure. And you know, usually, bro, like that's how it is. Um, I actually heard somebody say that if you don't get nervous before performing, you know what I mean? Some people get nervous before the basketball game, football game. Um, like you say, being on stage singing, um, that keep a level of humility. You know what I mean? Because you don't think that you just got it all, you know, yeah, I... figured out. It kind of keep you humble. And um when you actually get on the stage, the, all of that leave, and you you able to do your thing, man. What was the um, feedback that you feel like you got from the crowd, or you know, <clears throat> going back home and kind of talking to your your loved ones? It was nothing but love. I swear, like when I was singing to Anita Baker, I had the whole crowd rocking. I seen people damn near throwing panties. <laughs> oh God! Like they was doing the little hustles in their seats, all that. They had their lights on. Man. And for my single special, it threw me off. Like, I had people recording, like, and people I didn't even know. Like, I swear I caught people singing the lyrics. And I was like, dang, like, I got people who really came to see me for real. That was yeah. hard. And that's genius, too, though. Like, I I, kinda, I seen y'all in the studio uh, recording that, man. You know Anita Baker, man. That's the, that, that, you know, that's the queen. You yeah. feel me? Like, Detroit legend. Um. Who idea was it for you to, you know, remake that and kind of, you know what I mean, put the, you know, the new beat to it, but still keep the lyrics the same and just kind of put that whole thing together? Mm. He wanted to challenge me to see if I really had what it takes. Mm. When and you first, go ahead, what you better say? I was going to say, I don't, I don't do too big on losing or making me look like I'm a punk, so I'm for real gone. I'm going to show you better than I could tell you. Mm -hmm. Type time, cause I don't like when people get the doubt in me. I show you something to you feel me. Yeah. So, when, yeah. when you first heard it though, you know that's an older song. Yeah. So like you know by you being a young R and B artist, like you ain't gonna tell me that you was just like, all right, yeah, let's do it. Oh, like, trust me, I gave him hell. Yeah. Like it was like, bro, I'm not, bro. Come on, like we can't do nothing new addition, no, nothing. Like we gotta do this, like. Yeah. Come on, uh, that's how I was feeling. But I see why he chose that one though, because that was fire. That's one of them automatics. Soon somebody hear it, it's, it's over. And then like with the pressure of doing her song, it made me be like, "Yeah, I'm not finna, no, I'm not finna put somebody. I'm not finna do none of that. I'm finna actually go ahead and just try to knock this out." And I, I done did, I did, I did like ten different versions of that song until it got right. Like, I got like 10 different full-blown songs. Mm. 
And that was the, I had to wait till I got one one that was up to par. Speaking on that, um, you know, that just kind of like put a thought in my head in terms of like your recording process. Like when you in the studio, how do you go about, you know, your recording process? Is are these songs already written? Um, do you kind of like punch in lyrics? Is it a certain vibe that you gotta have? Like, what's your perfect atmosphere? And you know, like just your whole recording process. Um, it really depends on like the vibe. I really like the right now because I'm starting to live and experience more stuff. But other than that, I go in there and freestyle. But I'm not gonna go in there and try to record more than one song. I like to take my time and perfect one song. If I ain't gonna waste nobody time, and I'm not finna stress my voice trying to do. A whole bunch of stuff, and I ain't. I done left the session, and I ain't have not one complete song. For sure, for so sure, for sure. I try to take my time and like perfect every each each um recording that I do. Most definitely, one of these one of the things that's kind of stood out to me, man, is like with this video you got. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, the quality of it, a one. You know what I mean? The song is super dope. Um. Before we get into it, because I got a couple little questions in terms of like writing, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But talk a little bit about the video that you got out. You know what I mean? Um, you know, what was your thought process behind putting that one together? And, you know, like what was your intentions behind even making a record like that? Uh, just feel me? Love interest, my little boo. You know I me, mean? I just wanted to make a song about her, make her feel special. So it went from there, recorded it. Then I hit up Kiefer, and then that's when we got the brainstorming, putting all our heads together, and that's how we got a masterpiece. For sure, for sure. And Kiefer, the truth, too. He wanted them, Kiefer, one of them ones, man. And time behind that camera, that was a, a perfect person to go to. Um, writing. Are you at the point, do you feel like you need a writer? Like somebody no. to, why Why is that? I feel like, I like the way I write and I like to write things that I know I experience because I can't be as genuine as I know I could be if I haven't experienced that, if that makes sense. So that's why I like to write myself. I don't think I need a writer because I feel like I could put my head and do anything I put my mind to, so. You don't think that to help though, like just collabing with somebody or oh, I'm, I'm of course like, down to collab with some people. Cause it's like when you think about all of the greats, right? And I'm sure they pen is good. Like, can't nobody tell me that Beyonce can't write, but she still called on Neo, the dream, to pen some shit that you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That took it to like is that just a phase that you're going through now where you like, okay, I just want to get all of my personal experiences out. And at some point I may venture into that. Is it that type of thing? Or do you feel like all across mm -hmm. the board, I just don't need Right now, I just feel like I'm in my building block phase. So I'm just experimenting with myself before I go out and try to reach out for any, any external help. Because I feel like right now I'm still finding myself what better way to do it with locking in with myself to find what I need to do. No doubt. No doubt, no doubt. On the production side, who you who you rocking with? Like in, in uh, terms of your beats and stuff like that. King G, Baikal, Rizzy, <coughs> Jew, Big Jew. Um, them some Flint niggas. Uh, Rizzy from um, Philly. Um, but other than that, I'm just Anybody that, you feel me, trying to lock in, I'm just trying to find my sound for real. But those are the gotcha. people that I really work with on a day-to-day -day basis. No doubt. No doubt. In terms of one of the things, bro, that I feel like Detroit is lacking is like that, that R&B and rap collab. You get what I'm saying? Like, you got the rappers that's doing their thing, and then you got this pool of R&B artists that's rising, you know, on the scene right now. Um on your future projects or anything like that, like, do you have some artists in mind, some rappers specifically in mind that you want really want to work with and get in the studio with? Um, I could say Ghetto Baby Boom, One Up T, Baby Money, my Sammy Shabazz, you know, mm. some people that's going crazy right now for real. Mm. 
Mm. Them was some hard features too. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's that's fire. That's fire. Um, upcoming projects. You know, anything that you you know working on, or like like what's the plans going forward for you? For right now, I'm trying to. I'm doing a big rollout. I'm trying to drop a bunch of singles just so I could get my work out there because I don't got no songs out right now for real, for real. And I know that I'm not finna put a bunch of songs together and rush an album or rush an EP when I could just keep putting masterpieces out. And then probably towards like the end of summer, beginning of fall, cuddle season time, I'll probably drop an album or something. For sure. For sure, for sure. For sure, man. Do you got any any like specific things that you just really got in mind that you really want the people to know? Um, any business moves? Um you know, just anything in general that you want your fans and supporters to know. Um, stay tuned for real because y'all can't y'all can't stop a nigga. Like I'm really finna come full force, and I want y'all to stay tuned for real. I got big things ahead, and I want y'all to go tap in with my guy Ghetto Baby Boom. He just dropped some merch. Y'all need to tap in right now. DM him. You know what I'm saying? Come get y'all some merch. For sure. For sure. Man, y'all heard it here, man. Tate Prince, man. Post of the culture. Foreign magazine. Let's get it. Yeah.